What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Matt and if you're new here, I do laser engraving full time. I moved everything up in the garage. It used to be in my basement since 2015. So today I'm going to play around with the UV laser. I already have been doing a bunch of glassware. I've been doing business cards, but like with people's names on it. I'm just not going to show the name. It's on that side. But these are the really thin ones. And it's really fast, really works really good. And the detail you can get out of this UV, wow, is insane. So I'm gonna show you the leather gloves. They've been working out very good. They've been um, very nice. And so what happens is when I run it in the epilogue or the thunder, it'll take generally a name, uh, two, yeah, two name, like a first name and a last name, will take anywhere from three to four minutes. And in the UV, it has been taking 30 seconds to 40 seconds per glove. So you're talking a minute, just hair over a minute, a minute and 20 seconds. So it's been great. Really love it. Really been using a, the crap out of it. Um, the other thing is they also have a sale going until Christmas. Um, it's free shipping, so if you want, I'll have that link in the description if you decide to order one. Um, let's see. The one thing I cannot do, or not, I haven't figured out, and that's what I'm going to play around with today a little bit more, is the rotary. So I have the chuck rotary that I'm going to put in here, and we're going to run that. You can see I use this jig that I have in there now. That is for pint glasses. If I have a name that's vertical. I'll use that because you can use light burn correction. And that's another thing, you can only go so far. It's about two inches, two and a quarter. You can't go more than that. It just doesn't pick up. So, but for mason jars, um, whiskey glasses, engraving the bottom of the glasses, it's been great. You don't have to do nothing. This jig's been working. So yeah, let's switch this out and then let's install the rotary tool and let's see if I can get that working today. Um, what I've noticed is it you have it in there and it'll start to engrave and then it stops and then it moves and then it engraves stops moves engraves it's not a full constant like turning motion while it's engraving like the rotary tools work in the other two lasers over here so some messing around with I don't know if I can switch it or not I'm just playing at the settings there is just a learning curve and I'm learning. So let's run a couple of tests in here and see what we can come up with because I really, really want to get this figured out with the glass because I want the UV just glass all the time, nonstop glass. So if I can get that dialed in, it would be sweet. And then, um, yeah, next thing is, is I would like to get a bigger one of these so I can do a full sheet of plywood and I don't have to use a um, saw and stuff and a Galvo CO2 and I think I'd be set so things I'm working for working towards um, definitely don't need to do any more this year because I have a top secret thing going on over here which will be probably the next video and it is insane just that alone I have made uh, a good chunk of money already so I'm really excited to show you guys that but you're gonna have to wait <laughs> now when you're setting up the laser you're gonna notice oops, can't show you that top secret thing you're gonna notice I'm wearing glasses so like in the fiber it uses a laser and it shows you where it's gonna go in here in the UV it actually uses the UV light so you just want to use your glasses in case you get some blowback you know strain or a, a beam that goes flying out so we will what I did is I put this tube in here so I know it's level and straight with the laser. And I'm gonna take that out and then we're gonna put a pint glass in there. I'm gonna level it. And I'm gonna level the pint glass to this bed. So if it's a half a bubble off, it's gotta be a half a bubble off up there. <laughs> half a bubble. It's kinda like me, half a bubble off. Half a bubble, I can't even talk today. Half a bubble off. Half a bubble off. <laughs> Oh, the other thing I want to tell you guys, you'll see on here, there's little weird things on there, huh? It's a garden hose. So put a garden hose on there 
and it gives you grip to hold on to the pint glass. So now, level it. Level it. Bingo, bambo, jambo. Okay. Get this set up. So no, I have not made any sticks yet. If you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, I made these for the fiber. It's what everyone recommended. Works awesome. I have one for just regular engraving with the fiber. And then I have one that I call black as night. If I want it really black engraving. So I'll do the same thing with this. I'll make one for rotary, uh, make one for flat glass and you know, so, so on and so on. But I wanna make sure I get the rotary down. Um, the other rotary tool I have is this one. And you can't do that one because you can't tilt the glass. So you can't get it level. So it just doesn't work. Um, yeah, as far as that goes. So hopefully I can get this going. I have thought about switching it and telling it it's a roller just to see if I can get the constant turning. But maybe we'll try that later. But so far, I'm really liking, anyways, the rotary because I can leave it set up. And I literally put it underneath on this shelf down here. And I don't have to unplug it. It can just stay plugged in because you tell it in light burn if it has it or not. So it's really nice. So let's get something in here and see what we can do. Oh yeah. Sarah thought it was funny and grabbed the camera. Earlier, I did a boo-boo. <laughs> what you do? Sucked up a cup. Ooh, it fell out. And it got wedged <laughs> right there. I got lucky. You. I shut the fan off as soon as I could. You did what? How did you suck a cup up in that? Because I was working. And then the glove hit it like this, and then it just went Gone. Just like that. <sighs> I knew it was gonna happen. That's why I'm like, I need to build something from the end of that so I don't just do that. But I think I'm just gonna put a four inch hose on there and then call it good. I don't have to worry about that. For all the red solar cups I, I agree. I was gonna with. say until you have smaller cups. And I sucked up the red solo cup because I don't have nothing in front of that. So I either need I either need to go to a four inch tube so that doesn't happen anymore, or I need to put like some wire across it so nothing can go up there like that. I got lucky and it got caught right here. But if that went to the fan, ooh, that could have been bad. Bad sounding anyways, it probably wouldn't have hurt the fan, but bad sounding. Probably would have cleaned a lot of stuff out of that fan, actually. All right, let's go, let's see what this does. All right, so I'm gonna stop it because you can see, yeah, I have it at the wrong angle, because you want it to engrave with the glass, the lines. And I also have flood fill on. You can't do that. So I'm getting lines in there that it's overlapping some more than others and it's not looking right. So I'm gonna stop it and redo that. Don't have to go any further. I already know. You can see it already. So let me show you. See how like up here, see how it's like super jagged? See it? The edges are all jagged. So that's what I'm trying to get rid of. It's not smooth. It's just like it's it's like it's jerky. It's not it's not consistent. It's just like I don't know. I've tried sewing it way down. I've Tried multiple things, so let me try some other settings. Once I get this dialed in, I'll tell you all the settings. See, the steps rotation, that's all right. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So you can see I'm not getting the jagged edges no more, but it didn't, it's not overlapping right. It overlapped down here, but not up here, so I'm gonna change that. <clears throat> Let me show you what I did. I added the split size to half inch. So now it's gonna engrave a half inch before it turns. 
So what I need to do is make my diameter three and a half. Well, I think three and a half will work, but I don't know. We're gonna try it and figure it out. Um, three and a half is the diameter of the top part of the glass. So I don't know if, because I wanted to go three inches where I'm engraving, but you can see on the bottom it's hitting, but on the top it's not. So, yeah. I'm just gonna have to try it and see what happens here. Or I'm gonna have to, or I'm gonna have to distort the B on the bottom side. But that's a lot of extra steps. God, I would, I would imagine that I wouldn't have to do that with this, but all we can do is keep playing around. So I'm gonna keep playing around. Dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. So let's get the cloth in here. I'll show you. <clears throat> so I did the cylinder correction. We went around that way. And this is how it turns out. Whenever I do a cylinder correction, and this is on the pints, the wine glasses, I don't get it as much. But the pints, you can see it didn't engrave in the middle. It got halfway, but didn't do the very end, and then the very end over here. Now, if I get the focus where it does this end, I have to follow the focus all the way through, going up and down, just to get it engraved. It won't do it. Now, yes, I took my measurement that's three and a half, and then I put that in there. <clears throat> it just doesn't, can't get it. I don't know. I went up to four inches even to see if that would help, and it doesn't work. I thought about getting, um, I reached out to the company as far as the Chuck Rotary to see if I can get that to work with them. They said that basically, no, it won't work. Um, so that's a bummer. I'll have to figure something out. I thought about making something to put on here so I know it's level and then put it on the rotary and so it turns consistently. Um, that's as far as I got with that. I haven't gone any farther, but all your kind of like flat stuff, your like this is flat mason jar. Um, we have whiskey glasses that are flat, you know, four sides. Those are fine. It works great. You can see. Let's. I'll show you the difference. Even the difference is quality is insane. So I'm determined to get it to work one way or the other. But here is. See if that can come through. So that is done on a CO2. Now that well, that's really bad to go off of because it didn't etch right, but that is a UV. It's just a huge difference. There's no cleanup after it whatsoever. When you're done with the glass, you're done. Like there is no shards, there's nothing. So I really, 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 really want to get this to work and I'll figure it out. <clears throat> it might take a little bit, but I'm doing it here and there. As far as everything else goes, I hope everyone's doing great because it's Christmas time. My battery's dead, I'll be right back. And we're back, <laughs> fully charged. <laughs> Ready to go! Alright, <laughs> all jokes aside, I I love this for the glass. I'm going to figure that out. It'll take me a little time. I've been putzing on it here and there. We've been swamped with a ton of work and with the new item over there that's just been blowing up and I've got business coming out of my ears. Like it's the work has been coming in hot and steady, and it's I'm even like we're projected into just scratching into February right now. So we have a lot of work coming in, so it's good. I'm happy and I'm just trying to keep everything together really. So I'm gonna keep testing on this every day. Um, as far as like the gloves and stuff goes, that has been amazing. We have been whipping through the gloves on here. It has saved me so much time on this on versus the gantry lasers. So that's been great. Um, we have the mason jars flying through those, the whiskey glasses, everything. So that's been awesome. And then shot glasses, we haven't had too many orders, but that's also really fun and fast because 
you pretty much don't even need a correction on there. It just does it really good. <laughs> so yeah, it's been going great. I really am debating on buying a different lens for it, like the 300, I was thinking. So right now, I got the 160-110 in there. So I am really contemplating on getting the 300 just to see if that'll make a huge difference with the cylinder correction. But the, the guy from the manufacturer said, I don't think it would help. So, but at the same time, they don't use light burn and they don't have the cylinder correction. So maybe it'll work. I don't know. I'm gonna price them out. I'm gonna ask him um, for a lens on the price and then see what it is to ship and then go that route and just test it out, see if it works. And if it does, obviously I'm gonna tell you guys, <clears throat> whenever, excuse me, whenever I figure all this out, the rotaries, if I end up making a piece on the back, how I do it, I'm gonna show you guys and have it all done um, and finalized because if, if we can get this down, then like no one would do glass on gantry lasers no more because it's seriously like sandblasting. I wish I can, like, I don't know how else to explain it to you guys. It is the frostiest, nicest looking, and even when it gets wet, once you mix a drink, or you put your Kool-Aid or iced tea in it, or your milk, I guess, for your Oreos, uh, or chocolate chip cookies, but it, uh, it doesn't fade like the regular CO2. It is more, pro it's more, like visual, you can see it a lot better. So yeah, that's about it, man. Not too much else going on in here except for me working and I already wasted uh, three hours of my day. So I gotta fire these bad boys up and get her running. And the top secret thing, I got uh, 30 things of those to go through. So it'll be a little fun, you know, a little chaotic today, but it'll be worth it. It'll be fun. So, hope you guys are having a wonderful time. And glad you guys see me again. <laughs> Bye.